And hey guys, welcome to Legotopia Reviews for today. And today I'm reviewing the Detective's Office uh, set 10246 for today with 2,262 pieces in this uh, Lego Creator set for today, guys. This is my new modular being added to my city for today of uh, the San Jose City area. And thank you guys for joining me for today. Just got the sucker done uh, actually a second ago I guess you could say just got it right done and getting the video done for you guys for right now but of course we have this detectives office set and I believe this set was made in 2017 um, correct me if I'm wrong uh, but so far we do have the minifigs that do come with the set and uh, most other things coming with the set too for today guys um, so overall um, the detectives office does look very very awesome uh, let's get started with uh, the minifigs for today so here are the minifigs that do come with the Lego set of the detective's office. Uh, let's start off with this guy right here. Um, so this guy, of course, uh, does come with the face. Um, this is a normal happy face Lego face. Um, uh, lately, Creator has been, I think, changing them with their newer sets. Um, and uh, they've been adding uh, newer uh, faces to their sets. Uh, mostly like the smaller Creator sets that are coming out. But so far, we do have this minifig with a nice... It uh, looks like he's a um, uh, pool... A tender guy or maybe a bartender he might be the uh, guy who cuts the hairs at the owls uh, uh, barber shop uh, but that is uh, the torso look not too much detail on the torso itself or on the back a uh, nice older type of hair piece I kind of like how it's classic of the classic Lego right there but very nice job of Lego right there um, sorry about that uh, next up is uh, this like I think this is just a normal citizen trying to get his hair cut I'm um, coming from the Lego um, Al's place. Uh, try to focus on that guy. Uh, hold on. Okay, there we go. Um, but overall, he does look uh, really, really good. I like the torso on it, and like the blue jacket and everything, and the detail on the jacket and uh, the the shirt or t-shirt he's wearing underneath it. And uh, on the back, it does have some good detail too. Uh, just normal. Um, it looks like dark brown pants that do come with it. Uh, so very nice job, Lego, with that one too. Uh, next up is, uh, it looks like it's just a normal guy who looks like he's going to the Highlander, which is the place where uh, the pool is at, um, which uh, it's just a pool table in there, but um, I'll get into later detail with the video about it here in a sec, but so far good detail on the torso with a nice sweater look and uh, some good uh, tan um, pants or leggings, and then on the back it does have some good detail too, and then uh, with a nice little... Uh, um, it looks like beanie or something uh, that they did add right there too. So very nice job uh, by Lego with adding that good detail. Um, also, uh, if you haven't seen my Lego, Donald Trump ha does have the same torso except with the hands a different color. But a uh, nice detailed, uh, uh, looks like office-y look, but I believe this is the detective. Um, his name is Ace Brickman, I believe it says on the um, building. It says it up there, Ace Brickman. Uh, private detective so uh, yeah that's the detective that does come with the set uh, some minor detail on the back um, but very nice minifig so far too next up I think this is the first time that Lego did add a Lego police officer to their creator sets correct me if I'm wrong about that but it does have a Lego lady um, but if you put the hat on it just looks like any normal cop so it doesn't really look like a lady so um, I wish they could make a hat where the ponytail is sticking at the back, uh, but maybe they will in the later future. Nice detail on the police torso, and uh, with the blue denim pants, I believe it's uh, navy pants or whatever. Not, no detail on the back, which is uh, kind of weird or odd to have no detail on the back as a police officer. But just a normal police officer with a hat holding. Uh, very nice job by Lego again. Next up is, it looks like the detective's wife, or, um, I don't know, I guess you could say, uh, uh, sister, I don't know, but, so far, nice detail on the torso too, uh, red torso matching with the leggings, and I do like the hair piece that they're using right here, still a happy face, uh, not too much detail on the back, um, maybe some hips showing right there, but not too much detail overall on the Lego minifig. Let's move on to the detail of the building itself, and I'll catch you guys back then. Okay, so um, getting into more minor detail into 
uh, the building itself. Uh, so far, the building itself does have really, really good detail. I did take off uh, the the two floors that were on it, but so far, when you're done add, uh, done building the set, you do add a little uh, nice um, newspaper um, like. Uh, holder thing for the local newspaper in the city so that's good to know right there too and a nice little green tree uh, right there too um, if you haven't heard on the news of Lego news lately they are adding uh, sustainable uh, Lego leaves this year and 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 then all to all Lego bricks by 2030 I believe and then a uh, nice little light post that they do have on every single creator set. I don't know when they're going to change the detail of this, but uh, every single creator set of a modular has the same light pole, pole but uh, maybe they will uh, change in the future. Uh, but so far down here, uh, I have a nice little city, sitting area uh, right there and some detail on the building too, right in front of the Al's um, barber shop and a nice little detail where uh, that uh, thing that spins around that they do have on those little shops sometimes and then a nice little kind of like mall-ish Walkway right here. I like how they did that with the detail right here with a nice colored tan and brown uh, Pieces right there um, and then uh, the entrance uh, to the barber shop is right there, too uh, So so far looking very very nice and then this is the entrance to the pool uh, bar or just pool area I guess you could say but once when you enter into the building um, I really like how Lego added this thing um, this is actually a fan that they made out of uh, ski slippers which uh, Lego did very good job on that too and then there's some uh, actually secret places to enter in I believe down here um, if I can try to figure out uh, but this thing kind of slides open right there and try to focus it on you for you guys for today um, but yeah, there's a little sliding uh, secret door right there for the detective, I guess you could say. And then uh, the pool table itself was a very good job. I'm going to try to add more lighting in here, guys. Sorry about that. But so far, um, it does look very, very nice uh, with the detail inside of um, this little pool area. I wish they could add a bar uh, to the area, but they do add a lot of things that a uh, pool area would have. The pool pose. And um, just everything else like a trophy right there too and a very good job by Lego and then not too much detail on the walkway outside right here uh, they do kind of connect it with stairs and going in the back right there too and then uh, once when you get into the barber shop the barber shop itself uh, does have awesome detail uh, with some hair pieces in the window uh, right down there and then also a real Lego mirror that they've added um, they added this into the um, Lego assembly square too so uh, very good job by Lego and a nice little chair uh, for the barber to cut someone's hair at uh, too and there's some studs right there so the barber can um, uh, stand right there without falling and then some some stuff in the back right there just minor supplies for the barber and a uh, very good job by Lego on the barber shop um, let's get into the back of the building uh, so overall the back of the building does look uh, just uh, kind of plain I guess you could say not too much detail but you can add your own stuff you can add more trash cans you can add uh, another tree back here which I might add another tree back here just to have uh, something back here but not too much detail um, not too much effort I guess uh, Lego doesn't put too much effort on the back this is another secret entrance uh, right here uh, coming from underneath there um, nice little crawly hole I guess a, a cat or something or a dog can go in there and then uh, there's actually a secret hat in here that um, that the detective can use. The Lego hat. But uh, yeah, very good job by Lego um, overall with that part of the set. Um, let's move on to uh, the second floor uh, for you guys for today and of the detective's office. Okay, so the second floor does have some good detail, including the pool sign right here. This pool sign was added at the last part of the set too, including the tree and the newspaper stand area, uh, and also the light pole. Uh, but yeah, um, that was added last, and it was an interesting build that LEGO did do. Um, I like how they're adding a lot more words uh, to their buildings now. Um, in the past, they haven't uh, really added words at all. And then here's a nice little balcony uh, area with some stairs that you can get up to. Um, it's, it must be a private balcony for something, I don't know. Uh, it's for the detective probably. Uh, but like the detail of the flowers and everything and the brick 
uh, texturing on uh, this part of the building too. I really like that um, that they did add. Second floor of the barber shop is kind of part of uh, the barber shop. There's a little uh, corner bathroom right here for the detective, I guess, to use. Uh, but it's a really small bathroom. Um, so if someone really needs to go, then they can use that small little bathroom going upstairs from the barber shop. Uh, so that's good to know uh, for the barber and for customers that are in the barber shop. But so far, uh, looking good with the detail of the plant at the corner right over there too. And then the entrance to the detective's office, that plant is kind of in the way, so uh, you're probably going to have to move that to open that uh, area up into the detective's office itself. The detective's office is very detailed and with some actually secret places to go to um, in his office itself. Um, I do like how they make it look old, like in the 1960s or so, I think it was uh, how offices looked. Uh, but so far, I like the file cabinet and the little fan that they added uh, there too, uh, with the fan detail. Uh, actually, a real moving fan. It can't move by itself, but you have to move it just with your finger and pretend um, the fan is moving for the detective. Uh, this is detective's uh, desk with uh, just some Lego news and some maps and letters. He has a lot of letters. That's uh, one thing that I saw building this part of the set is a lot of letters were included. And then right here is the detective's hat. You can focus. Yes, no, no, yes. I don't know. Uh, but so far, it does look good, including a nice little safe with his money and secret stuff in there, uh, too. And uh, very good detail overall. Um, so these signs do move, as you can see. There is some detail or a little letter right there, secret letter. Um, they do move easily. This one moves too, it just spins. I guess you could spin it and be like, um, this wanted person is paper is dumb. I guess uh, the detective can spin it and be like, wow, I need to think about my case. But yeah, so far looking good. Um, very, very nice. I forgot to show the detail of the window piece right there. It says Ace Brickman, detective, um, private detective, it looks like. Can't really see it. It's hard to focus on, guys. The lighting's not the best today. I have to figure out my lighting. But let's move on to the third floor, final floor, I guess, for this detective's office. So here is the third final floor. Uh, sorry, I had to blow something off my phone. Um, there was, like, dust or something on my phone. But overall, uh, third floor of the detective's office. Uh, looking very, very nice. I, I, th I thought it was going to be an apartment up here. Um, but it's uh, actually just a little... Uh, I guess chill out place for uh, the barber shop area, uh, but the barber shop area is pretty tall with some nice detail with a cat up here, uh, looking to get some of those yummy cookies at the window right there. And overall, uh, nice little kitchen setup. I guess they can cook some stuff up here, cook the cat. Uh, I guess they were cooking cookies. Maybe Grant, uh, Granny goes up here and cooks some good cookies. I guess. Uh, but so far, um, looking very, very good all over here. And then uh, the bout, and then also it enters out onto the roof area uh, for this area. Oh, sorry guys, you have to sit, see the Lego sets in the background. Those are secret ones. I'll show those guys, uh, those sets in later video. But excuse me. Um, but overall, uh, the third floor of this or the final floor has some nice detail. Uh, Lego did a very, very good job on uh, this little um, tank build or water build I guess you could say um, it was a very interesting build um, they used tank treads uh, to make this uh, rounded which was a very interesting way to do it and also they they just added a lot of good detail um, not in the inside but just making it look really like a real water tower that you would see um, of course I think every single crater set they have added a skylight but that's good because then you can get light in there um, when you when it's like daytime so uh, the Lego minifix can see but um so far that uh, does look awesome uh, another balcony right here I'm connecting from that one it's like one of those New York style balconies with those ladders and stuff um, but yeah overall good detail um also one thing that I did not show here is um they used um Lego uh, Technic pieces, I believe, uh, right here of fists from um, Lego. I forgot what they were called. Those giant Lego uh, minifigs, or well, they're not minifigs. They're like uh, those really big ones that you make. And um, yeah, they were using those fists from those Lego minifigs um, for the detail right here. And a uh, very good job uh, right there with the detail. And then final piece to go on right here. Let me focus it. Um, final piece to go on right here. Kind of just have to. 
get it on there. There we go, sorry. Um, but overall, I like how they did this curved piece right here. That's a, kind of a new piece. I don't know what's coming from. I think it's it's probably from a, a Lego Friends set right there. But overall, it does look good all over here too. Um, so overall, the set, this Lego set, uh, Lego modular set is an awesome set. Um, I mean, Assembly Square was even better than any of these. Um, Assembly Square was the longest set that I've ever gotten. Uh, so I do recommend getting this set, guys, if you are into Legos. Um, this is a good set to have into the city. Uh, it has a three-story high uh, building, and that's good to have in the city. Um, overall, uh, it, this set uh, does look very, very, very good. So thank you guys for watching for today. Please leave a like on this video if you have any additional questions about the set, or if I said something wrong, or if you guys have a problem with anything, just comment below. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, Legotopia Present signing out for today, guys. And remember, you will always be a Lego one.